Welcome to this video presentation here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. Here we have the Volvo XC40 on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car first and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside you can see it's a five door car with tinted windows and alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the boot area first of all. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors and plenty of boot space as well. You can increase this space further should you wish to by folding down either or both of the 60-40 split folding rear seats. Okay so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and as I mentioned we'll run through some of the controls from there but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see uh, firstly the alloy wheels are all in pristine condition as is the bodywork the entire way around. Just briefly before we climb in I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, first of all, we have the speedometer. We have a digital readout for the speedometer within that. And then below that, the total miles for the car. They are 29,763. Over on the right-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the fuel gauge. Now, within the rev counter, you can see uh, what gear the car is in. It's an automatic, so of course we are in park at the moment. You can change the information that's displayed in this central section. You can, for example, have your satellite navigation in there, your phone, your media, and your trip computer, whichever one you wish. Uh, and they are all changed using these buttons here. We have voice activation for your phone. We have cruise control over on the uh, left-hand side. And then in the center, the main touch screen for the car. So we have a physical button down here that will take you back to the main menu, which we'll go back to in a moment. We're in our climate control menu at the moment, as you can see. So you can determine where you would like the air to be distributed. You can turn your air conditioning off. On again, you can recirculate the air that's in the car from here. Uh, you've got your heated screens, as you can see. Uh, down the bottom here is where you will adjust the temperature. So you have a slider that you can move up and down, or you can just tap where you would like the temperature set. And that's for the driver uh, and of course the passenger as well. You can close these down. We've then got adjustments for the heated seats. Uh, so three heat adjustments for the driver and the exact same for the passenger just there as well. If I press that button, we'll then go back to the main menu. So you can see that we have got uh, satellite navigation, really nice clear color display, uh, very easy system to use as well. We have our audio menu directly below that. This car's got DAB and FM radio. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, once you paired your phone, which is done on the menu beneath that. Let's say that physical button down here will take you back to the main menu at any time you need to. Um, if I pop the car, or if I move down, I should say, to the next section, we've got the volume for your stereo just here and a few physical buttons. So hazard warning lights, of course. You can convert the car's air conditioning to the front screen. You can turn the heated uh, rear screen on. And as I say, physical controls, and including the volume control for the stereo itself. Underneath that, we have some storage, a 12 volt charging socket, the USB input just there. Uh, the gear lever then for the fully automatic gearbox, a couple of cup holders, along with an electronic handbrake. that's also got an, uh, auto hold function in there as well. The last thing I wanted to run through is the paperwork we hold for the car. So you can see the V5 registration document showing it's a one owner car from you. The key that's in the envelope uh, just here is the spare key. So there are two keys in total. We then have the service book which shows the pre-delivery inspection done in 2020. Services for 21, 22, 23 and over the page uh, 24 as well. All done as you can see by Volvo. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive or you'd like a live bespoke video tour of the car, please feel free to give us a call here at Wimbledon Carriage Company. We'd love to hear from you soon.